All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Bashem, or Kakwadash for the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles that great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord. Prophesying, preaching, and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, Barak and Thumb. Uh, and through the spirit, man, real quick, Brother Yorah coming back at you. I'm going to give uh, a few precepts on this uh, video that I've seen um, and this is just the outline that this is Babylon that this this is a place of confusion all right that the scriptures you know they warned us against you know all throughout prophecy the scriptures spoke about our people being in a city in a place where there's just confusion things are turned upside down people are fighting against one another that the, these alternate philosophies are going back and forth and and that we were we were not to trust in this place <laughs> because that's what it is it's confusion because ultimately confusion is going to destroy you all right when you're if you're confused about how to live a way that leads to life then what does that mean that means you're not going to be successful in leaving and leading a life that leads uh that leads to life all right which means it's going to lead to death like if you don't understand how relationships are supposed to work between men and women all right between you know parent and child all right between brethren between houses you know whether it be taxes you know wh whether it be what foods to eat if you're confused on all of these things man what does that mean you know that means you that means you you die that's why you know it's written that this place would be called the, the Valley of the Shadow of Death because there's just confusion on all sides. And I'll play a little bit of this video to confirm and get a few precepts and I'll make this brief, as brief as possible. About the decision to use the term birthing person instead of mother in the Biden's administration budget. Let's take a listen to this. I also notice you changed a term in your budget work. Uh, you shifted from in places from using the term mother to birthing people rather than mother. Can you help me get a good definition of birthing people? Well, I, I'll, I'll check on the language there, but I think if we're talking about those who give birth, I think we're talking about, uh, I, I don't know how else to explain it to you other than... I, it ex I, I was a little taken back when I just read it and saw it, that, it's, that the term mother was gone in spots and it was replaced with birthing people. And I didn't know if this was a direction that you were going, if there were shifts, if there are regulatory changes that are happening related to that, or what the purpose of that is. Uh, I think it's probably, and again, I, I'd have to go back and take a look at the language that was used in the budget, but I think it simply reflects the work that's being done. Oh, I, oh, I definitely get that. I, I, would, I would only say, well, the language is important always. We don't want to offend in our language. I get that. But would you at least admit Calling a mom a birthing person could be offensive to some moms uh, that they don't want to get like a happy birthing person card in May or I mean, can you at least admit that that term itself could be offensive to some moms? <laughs> Senator, I'll, I'll go back and take a look at the, the, the terminology that was used and, and I can get back to you. But again, if, we, if we're trying to be precise in, in the language that's used. You see this nonsense? Hold on, let's hit me. <laughs> let it finish. Mom's a pretty good word. That's that's worked for a while. I think that's what it's used. Mom's a pretty good word. That's that's worked for a while. I think that's pretty precise as well. Oh, I could watch this so many times. Oh boy. Here to weigh in on this is Roger Fisk. Right. So you see, these are two, you know, law lawmakers, legislators, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> and they're they're trying to change words like like mom to birthing person. And what are they trying to do? They're trying to cause confusion. All right, they're trying to be ambiguous and non-binary, and when an anything is ambiguous, it's confusion. <laughs> All right, the Most High is a is a power of order and diversity. Okay, everything is different, and everything has an order. All right, you have a wide variety of animals in the animal kingdom, and then you have something called a food chain, which is an order. So you have diversity, and then you have order. All right, even among even among men, you have a diversity of nations and you have order, with the Israelites being at the top. 
that's how the most ideals, man. Not not with ambiguity and it could be this, it could be that. You know? Th this is this is the same uh philosophy that Eve was on in the garden. The most high had Adam give names to all the animals, man. So we would know what is what particular things would have names, they would be segmented, they would be categorized, all right? And, and it's the same thing, <laughs> all right? This is Psalms 146 and uh, and 9, it says, The Lord Jehovah preserveth the strangers, he reliveth, he relieveth the fatherless and the widow, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down, all right? And the wicked, y'all are being turned upside down. You, your, your lawmakers are confused. People are, 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 are against this. Some people are for it. There's just infighting and enmity between Edomites. And to be honest, it's a beautiful thing to see the nature of this place, which is confusion. It, it, it starts to take its toll on you people, man. Because now they're passing this into laws, all right? Where you, you could get in trouble. That could have legal implications about how you refer to a person. All right. And what they're trying to get to is, is you know, really, this goes into transgender thing. Uh, you can be a man that that can have that can give birth. All right. And, and, and that in that term birthing person, it more easily fits a, a so-called man who wants to have who wants to give birth. That's what all, that's what all this is leading to. You know, it's just more it's just more of this. Uh this woke what they call woke nonsense and it's confusion and the most is gonna destroy this place man how long can you sit up here and watch two people in positions of power debate over language that they want to change to accommodate wickedness causing confusion Democratic strategist and Ines Stepman senior policy analyst at the independent women's forum guys how funny is that Look, Roger, I want to talk to you a little bit about this. I, I work in you know, campaigns, and I have a big problem when Democrats, I say, are so extra with the politically correct language, because it's not the way that real people talk. So I'm wondering what you think about this usage of the language in the budget, and I feel like Democrats just set themselves up for this kind of material that writes itself. Yeah, first off, good morning, um, Colin and Emily, and it's wonderful to be here with Inez. I mean, if, if someone was sitting in a laboratory somewhere and said, let's come up with the most red meat possible thing we can throw <laughs> into the cancel culture debate, like this is honestly from central casting, like you couldn't invent a better thing for the for the kind of echo uh, chamber, and people are going to absolutely lose their minds over this. I have a couple <laughs> issues with it. One... You know, if Becerra wants to go in that direction, then he should just go. This is the language we're using, and you can suck it. Which is to say, like, <laughs> now, now, this, now this is, hey, is going to be stretched out for weeks, and there's uh -huh. going to be these drip, drip, drip clarifications, and, and it's just going to go on and on. When if you, I mean, and another, my last thing is this. We have a very... You get the point. These Edomites are upset. <laughs> Confusion is on all sides. Scriptures warned us not to trust in this place. This is uh, Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord Jehovah, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And, and that's y'all, man. Y'all keep following these people, these, these uh, so-called democratic leaders, Al Sharpton. What the, what the hell is wrong with y'all, man? These people are known to lie and to manipulate, and they're getting paid. Okay, they have houses, they can pay their bills, they don't live paycheck to paycheck. They're pulling the wool over your eyes for a bag, as Jake liked to say. And, and you, you're you voting for these people while they pass legislation, laws, and stuff that's going to destroy you and enrich themselves. It says that walk to go down into Egypt and have, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right, because we've been giving you all the truth. We've been telling you who you are. And a lot of Israelites, they'll see that, you know, Israelites are synonymous with royalty, basically. That we're, 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 uh, we're the perfect underdog because not only are we a royal people, but we've suffered the worst all throughout history for our rebellion, of course. So Jake will vibe with that, but then he, he won't listen after that, man. You know? As Ezekiel says that, you know, your words are like a lovely song. They hear them, but do them not. 
because ultimately they trust in this place. They trust in, in, in America, the American dream. Jake still thinks it's possible. I just did a video <laughs> about how he's buying up all the land where you can't, you can't even own a house. You, you have to be a renter. Jake still thinks the American dream is possible trying to, trying to be diplomatic with this double man. This is out of this is out of control. But here's the main point. Isaiah 30 and 3 says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Alright? And a lot of y'all are gonna be looking stupid. You already do look stupid, but you're gonna see it. You're gonna feel the shame and humiliation when you see that this whole thing has just been a Ponzi scheme. Taxes, the US dollar, all of this shit, welfare. You think you're winning, and you're gonna find out you you were you were being uh led to the slaughter the whole time it says therefore shall the strength of pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of egypt your confusion <laughs> you see now esau is about to be in a position right now you can't you can't use the word mom if he's the passage of the law and, and, and make it a, a a crime you know you're looking at fines jail time for the word that you use all right it sounded all good when he was talking about free speech the First Amendment and blah 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 and all this, but this man's a liar. He's a devil. All right, he's never meant anything for your good. Okay, he's only meant to enrich himself the entire time. Anything you benefited from, Jake, it was a byproduct of him getting get him getting paid. You NBA players, you know, making hundreds of millions of dollars. That's chump change, man. And by the time you make a hundred million dollars, Esau's made a hundred billion dollars. And all of that money, that wealth, that's just paper. He can print a hundred trillion dollars right now and make that worth nothing. All right, he can raise your property taxes, cause hyperinflation, and, and, and evaporate everything because you don't really own true wealth. LeBron James, James Harden, Kevin Durant, all of these people. All right, y'all, y'all think that 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 what you have it, it are, are riches, and they're not. Okay. You know, it says, that's why it says, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in, in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Because y'all believe that this place is meant for you. What the, the, plate, the, the way that you're eating good now and living good right now, that's temporary, man. <laughs> the scriptures say when, a, when, you know, when a man is in affliction, he has no remembrance of, of, the, of his times of, uh, of mirth. You know, roughly paraphrasing that, the apocrypha. So when all hell breaks loose, all you guys that are living good, that trusted in Egypt, that might have been able to come up in their system, that you're not going to remember all the good times when you had a hundred million. Floyd Mayweather, all you niggas, man. Y'all have to pull out of this, man. You know, the scriptures tell us over and over and over again not to trust in this place because it is confusion. This This is confusion. Very, very famous popular scripture <laughs> revelation 18 and 4 it says and i heard another voice come out of heaven come from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues all right now what does the word plague re remind you of what what famous empire or nation got got hit with plagues infamously <laughs> It was Egypt, okay? And I'm explaining to you now how this place is Egypt. As a matter of fact, when you go to Revelation 11, at 8, it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified. So when it was talking about Egypt, over here in Isaiah 30, that's what this place is talking about, man. And Egypt is going to get hit with plagues again. You go in Revelation 16, it's going to be nothing nice, man. All right? The plagues that hit Egypt the first time, it's going to be turned up, man, times 10, times 100. <laughs> All right? And it's going to feel way worse because you people don't even know basic things, how to start fires, how to do anything for yourself, how to fish, what type of plants to eat, what, what kind of, you know, 
you're plugged into the internet 24 7 so when the plagues hit this time man it's gonna be terrible for you and and the people are warning the are you know the, the men of the lord are warning you know saying come out of her by people trust not in the shadow of egypt confusion on all sides you know so i'm, I'm not sure this along too much so with that hopefully that brothers were edified call halal yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim Ha with dash wa ba 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 shallow